Hey everyone, this is Martin from How To Make Mobile Games. Today is Monday the 3rd of March 2014. Um, it's pretty early in the morning, actually it's half 11 in the morning, which is kind of early for me. Uh, I've been up for a few hours now and I'm super tired. Uh, generally, I kind of, I'm a little bit slower in the morning, so this video I might be speaking a bit slower and that's why I look like this and I'm, I'm messy at the moment. But I've just had a coffee, so hopefully I'll wake up in the next uh, couple of hours. I'm really a, a night person. I'm not a morning person at all. Um, boy, yeah, God, I'm, I'm so slow in the morning. Anyway, uh, this video is something I wanted to do a, a few weeks back, and it's just talking about the download trends on um, iOS, on the iPhone App Store compared to the Google Play App Store. I thought it was pretty interesting, and it's something that I've noticed uh, like time and time again when it comes to the, the, the trends of downloads. So I'll just dive in. I've just opened up this my App Annie page here. Uh, if you don't know what App Annie is, it's a, it's a great, great service. It's free, and it just allows you to track all your downloads. Uh, you can also see the ranking and positions of all the other games in Google Play, Amazon, and iPhone App Store as well. Uh, but I also plug it in so that I can share my statistics with some of the developers. So, for example, if this was a developer's game here, I can share the uh, just this data with them. I don't have to share all of the game data. So it's it's a pretty cool service, so I recommend it. Uh, but this game here, anyway, this is a, a one of our games called Tennis Ball Juggling Super Tap that we released, um, uh, I think, what, what was the date here? February 17th, so, you know, roughly uh, one or two weeks ago. Uh, and this was developed by uh, uh, by my developer. And it, you can notice in the first, like, day or so, the downloads are pretty good. This is on the iPhone App Store. So the first day, this was probably, like, half a day. 184, jumped up to 965, 874, 717, 698, 744. And then it started to go down. It sort of leveled out here, at roughly 150 around. Um, but the point is that I wanted to make here was this sort of initial week here. There's always this increase in rank in the first week. You get a boost from uh, the algorithm just because it's a new game that's in the store. So for the first week, you will see uh, a bunch of good downloads, and then it eventually begins to level out. So I'll give you another example here. This is a Jewel Candy Clash. Uh, which was released on December 7th. Uh, download number's not quite as high, but you can see here in this first uh, first week, if I just circle it, there's 269, 300, 371, and then down to 100 on average. And then over here, we've got like 28, 25. So there's a pretty big difference there, guys. You know, it really does sort of like taper off. Now, these games are not marketed. These games are not like pushed... Uh, you know, through like say Facebook or, or videos or anything like this, uh, they are cross promoted a little bit. So in each game, there's a more games button, and if the player clicks on that, and they see a list of all the games, but there's no specific you know direct marketing for this particular game or any of these games that I'm showing you right here. Um, but it's just interesting to note that you do get this initial weak uh, burst, and then after that, it slowly tapers off. So. It, you know, kind of in our model, in the, in the way that we're doing business right now, is is we're building games fast and we're building them fun. We're building them small, um, and uh, you know, the goal is to give the player a quick, um, you know, like a few hours of entertainment or a few days of entertainment, and then they might forget the game and they might they might move on. Uh, these are not large games, um, so you know, within this initial week or this initial, say, couple of weeks, if you can make your revenue back in that time, the development costs, then you've done a good job. And then as this kind of long tail of lower downloads continues, then you can make some, you know, uh, a little bit of money every day and you might make profit on it. So I'll give you another example here. So this was a Clumsy Cookie Traffic Heads. Downloads not as big as well, but this first day was bigger, sort of 300. And then it quickly went down as well, and it sort of averaged out around 30 to 60 maybe. And I think I've got one more example here, which is a lot better. Uh, but Fly Yourself Up, Elf Heads One Direction game for Christmas. A Christmas focused game, so you know it's going to do a little bit better around that time of year. But you can see here, look, 1,000, 1,000, 950, 700, 500, and then quickly down. I mean, what a huge difference here, you know, from 1,000 and then a few days later down to 70, you know, and that's pretty normal. And, you know, just because of that initial boost that you get when, when you're releasing a new game. So 
Uh, you know, I'm curious if you guys have seen the same thing. Is it is it something that you also see uh, for iPhone? I suspect it is. But please let me know if that's if that's the case, or if you're seeing something that's more maintained. Uh, there are a couple of games that seem to have maintained like fairly good levels consistently, uh, but that's just because they rank high for a particular search term. So um, moving on, this is Google Play. You can see the difference here. This is a, a Blitz that Candy Dash. Initially, this was released in May the eighth last year, and you know the downloads were okay. And I think, look, I mean, we've got a big jump here, and then a big dip, and then. It kind of went up a little bit towards the end there, and it's kind of gone on around 300 a day. Uh, the peak here, if I can highlight it, was 2,746 2, downloads, which is really good, uh, I found for Google Play. And I don't know why there was this boost here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why that was. I think I might have updated the name, but this, this drop here could have been because I had to change the name because... Blitz That Candy Dash was called Blitz That Candy Saga originally. And uh, King got in contact with a bunch of developers and said, hey, you can't do this. And it wasn't just my game, it was a bunch of games. So we had to change the name there to Blitz That Candy Dash. That could have had an impact. And, and it's kind of tapered off here at sort of like 300 a day, which is okay. But that sort of dip there in the middle, I'm not sure what happened, but you can see with Google Play, my point is is that the, the downloads are much more kind of consistent and they might take a little bit of time to go up and then, you know, reach a plateau and then they might, uh, you know, they might taper off, but it's a, it's a much more longer curve than than, uh, than that initial spike that you get in the iPhone App Store. Uh, another example here, Clumsy Cookie Traffic Saga. Uh, started off pretty low, less than 100 a day, 80, 90, and it's kind of maintained like 900 to... 1200 downloads I guess uh, last day was on March the 1st 1100 downloads and this is one of the better performing games at the moment this is this has been kind of consistent as well since January the 1st so I'm pretty happy about that and it's a re original release was December 5th but why did it jump up all of a sudden on January the 1st I don't know I have no idea why that happened I don't think there was any like keyword changes at that point uh, and certainly not any big keyword changes to make it jump from like, you know, sort of 400 up until up to 1700. Uh, this was the holiday season though, so it's, I'm not sure why, but it's, it's, it's remained kind of consistent as well. I think one of the reasons why this game has done pretty good though in terms of downloads is because of the icon. Um, the icon is, is, I think it's pretty good. It looks interesting. If, the, if it's food... If it looks delicious, then yeah, uh, it's going to get more downloads, I think. Um, I'll give you another example. I don't know if the downloads are very good, but I think the icon is okay. But we need to we need to change it and update the game. Um, and there hasn't been much SEO with this. I've not done much keyword research, to be honest. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think this, this is a recent game as well. Downloads were not very high. In fact, yeah, so my point is, is lost there. But the icon, I think, looks pretty good. Um, anyway, so maybe this one will do the same as the Clumsy Cookie game. It will sort of go, you know, low downloads and then jump up later. We'll see about that. Um, and then recently we uh, we did on Google Play as well was a, a Flappy Dragon clone. Uh, sorry, Flappy Flappy Bird clone, which is uh, which is a lot of developers have done. And, and, you know, it's a good way to kind of catch that wave. I know a lot of developers hate that. A lot of developers say that, oh, you shouldn't do a clone, you shouldn't do this, you should be original, and so on and so forth. I agree, yeah, we do original games as well, and I think every developer should, you know, sort of branch out and do something original. Um, but also, if there's an opportunity in the market, if, if, you're, uh, if you see something that's not being utilized or a trend that's happening, then, then jump on it. You know, uh, the, as a business, we're out to make revenue. You're out to you're out to make uh, you know to to grow your company and to pay developers. Yeah, do that for sure. Uh, my opinion is never be too proud to do that. And probably a lot of developers out there are gonna you know <laughs> flame me for that. Who knows? They'll say no, no, no. You must be original and don't copy and so on and so forth. Uh, Candy Crush Saga is just a copy of of Bejeweled. Um, Bejeweled is just a copy. Of, well. A uh, kind of an iteration of Columns, which is an old Sega game. Uh, what was the other one? I think it was, is it Farm Heroes or another game by King is just like Peggle. 
Angry Birds was a copy of another game which was originally on, uh, which was originally a Flash-based game. So everyone sort of copies, and and you know they might not have been riding on a wave of success, but you know it, it's normal. And uh, I'm, I'm curious what people think about that anyway. Uh, anyway, this game here was uh, obviously there's been a big Flappy Bird um, craze recently. It's been nuts. Um, it was taken down the original Flappy Bird, as probably a lot of people know, and it's uh, it, so that gave an opportunity to us and to other developers to to get a lot of downloads because the original one wasn't available. But we peaked here around four thousand downloads, um, which has probably been one of my best uh, one of our best download days ever in this past say year and a half uh, and then it's quickly sort of gone down and it started to you know taper off and level out here around four to five hundred downloads a day which is cool that's 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 uh, I'm pretty happy about that um, so but we did we did get a notice from Google Play this past uh, roughly five days ago and they said that you can't have this on the store anymore you've got to change it because it's classed as spam and a lot of developers have received this notice um, because there's been a lot of Flappy Bird clones, like, you know, hundreds. So they've said, hey, you can't do this, you've got to change the game, you can't just spam it, you know, the store. Uh, we received this notice, you know, like five days ago, after it had been in the store for a few weeks. So it's a little bit strange, but uh, at least we've got a seven-day notice to kind of change it and update it anyway. Uh, but it's a, it's a bit of a pain, you know, it's a bit of trouble doing that. Anyway... But uh, I hope you found this uh, useful or interesting. I'm sorry that I seem like I've got low energy right now, guys. I need to get more coffee in me and get some more food in me as well. Uh, any questions, obviously, leave me a comment below. Please subscribe and like, as always. That's always that helps me a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, also, for all the personal messages as well recently and all of the, uh, uh, the questions on the channel, I'm, I'm so sorry I can't get back to you guys on those things. Um, I do read them all, of course, and you know a great big thanks to that. And hopefully, one day, one day I can focus on um, actually, fo you know, doing the channel 100%. That would be so cool because I really enjoy doing this and, and sharing with you guys and chatting with everybody. So anyway, for now, more coffee. I'm going to work on it. <laughs> Have a great week, guys. I'm going to speak to you all soon. Bye bye.